Welcome to Scratch Coding. With Scratch, you can create your own stories, puzzles, games, and whatever else you want to create. You're in control of everything in the programs that you write. Today, we're going to create a game where you can spawn axolotls. You can pick different colors and spawn as many as you want. If you're a novice at Scratch, then you can remix my code and I'll give you a link to that project in the description below. If you're more hardcore, then you can just remix my project Axolotl Resources and write all the code yourself. If you're a code ninja, then you may want to create a new project and get your own resources and write your code. So we're going to start at novice level. There's a link below to my project Spawn Axolotls. You can remix this project and change whatever you want. First, let's run the program and see what it does. When you click on the egg, it spawns axolotls. You can also hit the space bar. This is the Easter color axolotls. There's also camouflage. Neon color. And this button makes an axolotl, let's keep an eye on him, that changes color as he goes along. So the axolotls just go off the screen a little bit, turn around and come back in another direction. As they go back and forth, they get smaller and darker. The axolotls go at different speeds and as they get smaller into the background, you can really tell that some of them are going really slow and others are going fast. It's fun to just create a bunch of these and let them swim around like you have an aquarium. Let's look at the code. For the egg, when the program starts, the first type of axolotl that it's going to make is this purple kind. And it goes to the front layer because you want the egg in front of all the other axolotls that have been created. When this sprite is clicked, when the egg is clicked, it makes the egg move, it glides a little bit, and it creates a clone of the type of axolotl that's selected. It does the same thing when the space key is pressed. Notice on these buttons, whichever one I select has a yellow border. Let's look at the code for the buttons. When I click the Easter button, it's going to select this purple axolotl as the type, which you can't see it. Okay, this is the purple one, brown, yellow, and this one is all colors. So it's going to select this purple one as the type and it's going to broadcast Easter to let all the other buttons know that Easter is selected. Let's look at the costumes for the Easter button. B is just the normal Easter and B2 is the one that has a yellow border for when it's selected. And you'll see the code whenever it's clicked it selects the one that has the yellow border B2. If anything else is clicked then it changes back to the one that has Easter not selected. When the game starts, or if it's clicked on, it's going to change to B2 because that's the one that's highlighted. But if any of these other ones are selected, then it's going to change it back to just B, which is not a yellow border. Same thing for all these other buttons. They have a couple of different costumes and they switch to the highlighted one whenever they're clicked on. So all this extra code, whenever it receives these messages, it's just to change the border around. The biggest part of this is setting the right type. So if camo is clicked on, then it's going to change the type, that's just a variable, to brown. If neon is clicked on, then it's going to change the type to yellow. So these buttons, all they do is set the variable type. So you'll know what type of axolotl to create. The axolotl actually gets created in the egg code. Right here, whenever it's clicked, create a clone of whatever type is selected. And inside the axolotls, when he starts as a clone, it has all the code to move back and forth, to get smaller, to get darker. So the main sprite is hidden whenever the green flag is clicked. But every time it starts as a clone, it's going to pick a random color and a random speed between 6 and 10. It sets the size tells him to go in front of all these other axolotls, but then go backward so you're not in front of the egg or in front of the buttons. Point in a random direction, and you're going to be moving left and right, not spinning all around. 
and forever you just keep moving back and forth. As long as they're pretty big, it's going to make it smaller and make it go slower because when things are further away, it looks like they're going slower. Also, when things are further away, especially if they're in the water, then they're not going to look so bright. So we change the brightness as they go back. We also go to next costume. I didn't show you that. We're going through 40 different costumes to make him swim around. So the motion just going through next costume, next costume makes it look like he's swimming. And the code for all these axolotls is the same. When they start as a clone, they do the same thing. And this random color effect, even though I picked neon, it's going to be a random neon kind of color. They're not all the same because of this random color effect. If you were to remix this project, what would you want to add? What could we change to make it even better? Leave a comment below about what should be added to make this even better. And after you've made changes yourself, add your project to my Axolotl Studio. If you're not a novice and you're more hardcore, then you may want to start with this. I'm also going to share this project, Axolotl Resources. I've given you the background and the costumes for the sprites. but not the code. You'll have to write your own code. Let's just write something real quick. So for this yellow axolotl, we need when green flag clicked, and we need him to show he's too small. He's at 20% right there. Let's set him to 40. Go to a random position, we don't want him spinning around so we'll set the rotation style to left and right, and forever we want him to move and then bounce when he gets to the edge. We want him to do this when he starts as a clone so we can have more than one axolotl. So that's down here in the control blocks when I start as a clone. So create a clone of myself and there he goes. Now all these are yellow. We can put this code in the all axolotl colors. Create a clone of myself. Oh, and I need to make him show. But they're still not changing color. I forgot to make him change costumes. Costumes is going to be in the looks. We just need the next costume block. We also want the code for this one to change costumes. Yeah, that makes them look like they're swimming. When they start, we want the original one to be hidden though. We want the clones to show, but we want the original one to hide. I want to add this set color effect too, so we can get some variation in the colors. And this one needs to hide when the green flag is clicked. And you can change the speed and the size and the color and everything. And just do as much as you want with this. Starting with my project, Axolotl Resources. But if you're a code ninja, then you can do everything all on your own. Just do a new project. And choose a backdrop. That would be a good one for some axolotls to swim around in. Or you can upload a backdrop. The backdrop from my other project, I just did a screenshot when I was playing Minecraft. 
Just click Upload Backdrop and then select a file that you got off the internet or you saved while you were playing. I'll just select this JPEG that I made, background.jpg, and after it imports we have another background. Drag it to cover the whole screen and just resize it, position it however you want. Next we need some sprites. I uploaded a sprite for the egg. Again, I got that off Minecraft. I just copied that and edited it out and made the background transparent to make a PNG file. And then just resized and positioned that and that looks just like my other game. For the axolotls, we have to upload a sprite. And I found a GIF file on the internet that had a lot of different costumes. Let me show you. You get one GIF file that moves and once it's imported in, look at the costumes for that. That has all the different colors. There's 40 white ones, 40 yellow ones, 40 brown ones. I'm going to just right click on this axolotl and duplicate it. Rename it yellow. And delete all the costumes that aren't yellow. And now it's just the yellow one. Let's add a little code for this guy. Forever, go to the next costume. So forever he goes to the next costume. And just like in the other projects, we can make clones of him and make him move around and change colors and, and do whatever we want. So whether you're a novice, hardcore, or a code ninja, Add your projects to my Axolotl Studio. If you enjoyed the video and you like my projects, hit the like button and subscribe below. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.